Okay, so this is my first little cooking video. I'm making green beans, stuffed chicken breast with um homemade mashed potatoes. Hope you guys so like what it. I'm doing now is just peeling a little skin off the potatoes, and I'm gonna cut them into fours like I did these. And then after that, we're gonna start on the chicken breast. We're gonna already right, clean them, wash them again. We're gonna cut them, season them, and stuff them. So I kind of already did my did cheese stuff. stuffing for the um, chicken. It's cream cheese, little gouda, smoked gouda, some sharp cheddar, and parmesan. I season it with blackening, a pepper, Mrs. Dash. Onion and herb, and this is the garlic and herb, a little Italian seasoning, parsley, and some green onion. I would have put more green onion, but I don't want it to be too overpowering. So it's already ready. I just want it to soften up so it can be easy to stuff. And when it comes to your cream, your filling for your chicken, don't overdo it, do it because you're going to season the chicken as well. So boom, there it is. Finish working on the potatoes. It will be, yeah, finish working on the potatoes. Here's the chicken breast. Um, split them, wash them. I think this is the best one because the pack pocket is really deep. The rest of them, I might have to go back and, you know, like this one, I might have to go back and open it up a little bit so everything can stay. If I think that um, when I'm stuffing them and I think that it's, you know, that the filling is gonna come out, I might put some toothpicks in there, you know, just so it can stay. So I'm gonna show you how I cut this one. Okay. Perfect, boom, good. So that's, that's how we're gonna do the chicken breast, we split them and after we finish, I have one more to play after I cut that one, we're gonna season them up. Okay, so now that we have the chicken all clean, split how we wanna have it split, we're gonna season it up. So, this is the season I'm using. I'm using Mrs. Dash, pepper, white pepper, blackening, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, parsley, and some Italian seasoning. We're going to season it like that. That's why I said don't put that much seasoning in your filling because you're going to season the chicken breast as well. So, I'm going to show you how to do a couple and then boom. So, I start with the garlic powder and onion powder. I season one side at a time. You can season it however you want, whatever you like, but this is how I season mine. Okay. All right. I'm just starting with the base, basic seasoning first, like the, uh, the onion powder and the garlic powder. I start with stuff like that first. And then the season that I want my foods to have the most flavor of, I think I put that on last. It doesn't matter how you do it, it's just my little reasoning. So I'm gonna go in with the pepper. All right, boom. And next, do the white pepper. This is so good. Let's see if I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. When I move my hands, see, I'm telling my son, right. when I move my hands, you move with me, boo. So that's what I was telling him. <laughs> there you go, babe. So this is the black, and this is really what I use on most of all my food. It's just so good. I could just use this by itself on food, but. I use black and season a lot. And just because I want most of my, I want the chicken to have this flavor. I'm just gonna wait and put it on. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Creole seasoning on here. And like I say, you can season your food how you want. It's just the first side. And you gotta make sure you get the seasoning on the inside too. Okay. Now we can, no, let's go with the mustache. I like the garlic and herb and the onion and herb. I mainly like the onion and herb when that was really good. Okay. Alrighty, making a mess, but it's 
cool season again all over the place, but that's all right. Okay, and I'm gonna do the black again. And the season that I'm putting on here is really mostly gonna go, it's pretty much enough for both sides, but I mean, if you wanna flip it over and do the same thing, you can, but the amount I'm putting on the top is gonna be good for both sides, but you'll see in a minute. Okay. Get this blackening on here really nice. And then some Italian seasoning. This is really potent, so you don't want to use too much. And I like great value seasoning, though, period. Okay. So, just get this all good. See, look. That's why I say the amount of seasoning I'm putting on top is enough for the bag and the inside. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you know. And then there's still some on a cutting board, too. So you can, you know, do like this. But you want to get that thing like this. Get in the inside. Yeah, like that. And we're going to put the parsley on the top after we stuff them. So that's pretty much how you want your chicken breast to look after you season it. And it smells so good. All right. I'm gonna be There we go. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so now the fun part. Am I in a camera? No. Just your hands. Okay. So now, you know, boom, trying to make it do what it do. That's why I say do not over season this stuff in because you're feeling because you know the chicken is already seasoned, plenty, seasoned plentiful. So like I said, I think I'm, the way I cut it is going to be okay. But if I see I'm using a chicken breast that's not cut properly, I'm like to put two picks in it. So just go ahead and get as much as you want in there. And we're going to put it in our, for some more to move. Cast iron skillet. I think it's hot enough. Boom. Let's go. I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> spread this filling out equally because I had, I think I had like six chicken breasts. One, two, three, four, five. I had six. So I want this to be enough for a six. And I don't want it oozing out too much. I want it to stay in the chicken breast. Like so. Yeah, yeah, get that. Please use gloves when you do this. I mean, it's better. And it helps you just keep all the ingredients together like your hands you won't be scared to touch it because you have a little gloves you can just stuff everything easily so i actually think i'm gonna cut it up a little bit because i wanted to get a nice crisp on it nice dark you know how they go with the black in the so here we go Oh. I'm gonna try not to overstuff the pan. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to overstuff the pan. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna let these get really nice and cooked up. Nice little char. Good caramelization on both sides. Then if I feel like it's not done enough, I'm just going to stick it in the oven for a little while. But I don't want to stick it in the oven too long to where it dries out. So, let's finish stuff in yeast three and let these cook. And then we're going to work on our potatoes and green beans. Okay, so far this is one side. This is like a back side. And I'm just picking up the front side. Yeah, it looks so good. It smells like green. I don't know if I did it. <laughs> but I know it's going to be so good if I did it. Okay, so now we're going to do the mashed potatoes. All right, this is the butter. Alright. This is the butter I'm using. I always use this butter. It's really good. Slightly on the healthy side. So. I'm going to slide my, I'm going to mash these. I don't have a, a potato masher. This gorgeous gift is called a fork. 
that's my potato masher. So I'm gonna add some butter. That's done. And the um, heavy cream, right? So just something to make. So when I um, mash them, it won't be dry and stuff like that. You can, I normally add everything when I mash them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna season it with pepper. And then I can just add more of the heavy cream if I need it. So pepper, garlic powder, garlic, I mean onion powder. And garlic powder. Like I said, I use great value. Don't argue with, don't worry about me. Use what you want to use, McCormick, however, whatever. Use that. And Italian seasoning. I really love Italian seasoning. It's called Herb de Pro something, but I call it Italian seasoning. I love it. It gives me like a really natural, like earthy, herby flavor. And Parmesan cheese. I know I don't, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to cheeses, I normally don't use Great Value cheese, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it because it's all I had this time. Boom. And let's get the mashing. This smells so good. And I'll probably put the parsley in in a little while. So let's mash and mix. Don't worry if you're thinking you're using too much liquid because you're not. You have to mash these potatoes down. It'd probably be easier if I had a masher, but I know what I'm doing, so I don't need a masher. Like this. Get all your potatoes down. Break all your potatoes. Like so. You can leave them a little chunky if you want. Mix everything together. Like so. If you feel like you need more heavy cream, you can get more heavy cream. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. I like this consistency of my potatoes, but I'm just gonna add a little more heavy cream. A little more cheese. I'm gonna add a lot of parsley. It comes out. Let it go. And, oh, I forgot. I forgot about this. My onion and herb and stash. As you can see, I don't really use salt when I cook. I feel like I use other seasonings that have enough salt in it. So, you can come in on more. I try not to use salt when I cook. So, here we go. Okay. For just you know to mix everything like I say you can just taste it and see if you want to add salt I, if I do use salt I use the pink Himalayan salt but for the most part these are our potatoes I'm gonna add a little more parsley and probably I'm gonna add a little more parsley and just probably taste it and see if I need salt but I think it's probably not gonna need much more salt. Like I said, you can get these down a little smoother if you want, but these are how I like mine. So I'm gonna eat all of that on the side, my these So I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm, it's good. But for the steak that I'm cooking the starch, I'm gonna add a little salt. 
And like I said, the only salt that I use is the pink Himalayan salt. So one second. Sprinkle a little. This is the pink Himalayan salt that I use. Very good. I like it. And add a little bit. But it's good. Like I said, just for the sake of this being starchy, it needs salt. So, you're going to do that like that. Mix it all up. Make it look a little decent. And break that down. Mix it. Bang, boom. Um, and I think it's good. I like the flavor. I don't want to be too overpowering with the seasoning because everything else is going to be seasoned and good. So I think we're good here. So this is the chicken breasts. After they come out of the oven, finish cooking, um, this is what happened in the process. It's so good. I don't even want to throw it away. I might put it in the potatoes, but you know, so I just re stuffed them with. Um, some cheese, um, the same cheese I stuffed them with at first. I just restuffed them here. So, this is what it's looking like. I stand, I kind of like set them up on an angle so the cheese, the filling can stay in there. So, everything is melting, everything looks good, tastes good. Boom! So, I probably put some of this little cheese, it's so good. I don't want to throw it away. I'm gonna put some of that in the mashed potatoes and I'm gonna work on my green beans and then. That'll be it. We're gonna plate it up. Okay, so I almost forgot to record the green beans. These are just the regular um green beans in the bag for me, like broccoli part. I got these from I think Kroger. I just trimmed them in, cut some of them in half. I see them season them with um garlic, onion powder, pepper, and chicken bouillon seasoning and so they're yeah, almost done i don't like my green beans too soggy and i like i don't like them too hard either so this is how they're looking they smell good i'm gonna now finish cooking and then i'm gonna put the plate together so this okay so this is the final plate it was so good so delicious um i'm gonna be cooking a lot and uploading a lot of cooking videos um this is okay so thanks for watching the video i'm gonna be doing a lot of more cooking videos so please stay tuned like comment and subscribe thank you